Good morning, guys. How are you? Yeah, things are all things are breaking out nicely. Are we gapping up today? No, it's um, about break even open. Okay. These um, renewable energy names are having a past couple of weeks, pretty big past couple of weeks. Does anyone know why this PPSI is up? PPSI, Pioneer Power, is it renewable energy?
Yeah, this WWR I'm potentially interested in as a short. This thing was at 19 or, or almost, yeah, 1850s pre market. Wow. What a mover. 10 bagger. Was a 10 bagger in pre market. I've located 100,000 shares just in case. Ideally, this thing has a big run out of the gate and then starts building lower highs and showing some weakness. If I would add to NIO here, mm, no, I wouldn't. <clears throat> Did SC sell off yesterday? <coughs> I don't know, my shorts did didn't sell off. <coughs> my shorts it looks fine. I don't know, you should maybe check your shorts. No, I just drank an energy drink. <clears throat> I got it some into my lungs. Feet breaking out? I don't know. It looks like a random stock to me. Yeah, nothing to wake you up like, like some carbonated energy dr uh, drink in your lungs. Nothing better. GRWG setting up. Looks like it had a breakout attempt yesterday. I think that Puru guy, he's gonna get killed in the next uh, in the next um, uh, bear market when these, you know, when we get a real sell-off in the in the in the like sauce and tech names. He's just a momentum trader, and he has he doesn't have an exit strategy. I don't know why everyone is following him. Like he's been like. He he posted he says he has posted his portfolio returns a couple of times like he trailed the market for the past like four years and now in the past six months he's outperformed the market and everyone's going crazy oh I mean I don't know I I don't I don't know what's so special with the guy no puru sex no. He's been outperforming for six months out of the past four years. And people are people are treating him like a guru. It's kinda of funny. Alright. 
I'm the only special one. Thank you, David. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. David, no matter what you say, I'm not going to ban or mute you today. Farfetch? It's uh, no, I, I don't see it, anything here. <laughs> yeah, Loki is better. Exactly. If you never say if you never say you lost money, did you lose money? Right? <laughs> it's getting slimy in here. Yeah. Let's focus on trading. I'm not I'm gonna watch this WWR as potential short out of the gate. Uh, other than that I don't really don't have any high conviction plays for now. Many of these solars are extended, but I'm not really... Uh, there, there could be day trades in the solar stocks. Jesus Christ. Did anything not trigger? I did a starter on that WWR. Okay, now I have a <clears throat> 100,000 share short to WWR. Let's see if this thing can fade a little bit. It got rejected on the VWAP right now. Alright, let's see.
This Ally and Snow are attempting IPO breakouts. The alerts are loud. Okay, I'll mute them a little bit or I'll tune them down a little bit. Nvidia. Damn. I sold like 1300 shares before they closed yesterday. I want I lightened down a little bit. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have done that. I just fat finger covered some WWR <laughs> before my stop. I put the that was my fat finger trade of the week. Let's see if it gets rejected on the VWAP again or if it reclaims. Okay, it reclaimed. WWR reclaimed so far. Alright, I'm out. I'm out WWR. I lost like 90k on it. Wait, I got... <laughs> I got stuck in a halt on a, on a tiny size. Alright. Hey, let's get this thing to 20. Let's get this thing to 20. Beyond Meat is uh, having a nice follow through from the entry. Really nice follow through. <coughs> yes, DC also.
No, it's not. I can barely hear it myself. Oh, PLL. Holy shit, what a mover. How can my uh, alerts be that loud? Why? Wh what is special to today compared to all the other days? I updated my streaming software. Maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, there has to be some setting thingy. But th how does my voice sound? I mean, if the alerts sound louder, then my voice has to sound louder too, right? Because I turned down the volume on my computer. Like, the alerts have never been this quiet. I sound handsome as always. Thank you. My voice is smooth. Yeah, nice. <laughs> My voice is smooth. Okay, I'm gonna cover my last WWR. So I lost 97k on WWR. Um, let's see. Wow, I mean, it's gonna be a juicy short. Question is when? Is it gonna be a 20? 30? 40? That we don't know. So some of these solar names, again, you know, they were setting up as nice potential. Shorts. I passed on all of them. E and pH is up though. Still interesting. Pack B short. Uh, well, not now. I mean, you have to be there. Opening range lows. Opening range lows, green to red, that was the entry. Now it's way too late. You know, you gotta be on those things before they make their move. I I highlight the flags. I don't I don't understand. How do I highlight the flags? Uh, basic uh, trade tracker, uh, Google Sheets, or uh, Microsoft Excel. You don't need anything fancy. Definitely don't pay for anything. Or, well, you can pay. There are some good trade trackers, but I, I've never paid for any trade trackers. I keep it really simple. I believe in simplicity. The more data points you track, the more tr in trouble you're going to get. I believe every time you add something to your trading, every time you add complexity, your profitability goes down. I'm a strong believer in that. This bill is starting to break out from this little flag. I would have preferred a few more days of sideways though.
So double W or I'm watching for a potential re-entry here on this thing. But I'd like to see it kind of fail at VWAP. Is it halted again? Did it got halted again? Oh, come on. The wee flags beside the ticker on your watch lists? These? These are just to mark stock so they don't get in my scans. What am I up on NVIDIA? Well, I have a position in it and I'm just following my sell rules. Nothing more, nothing less. Trimming and trailing. Don't let another Kodak happen. But I'm not even in the stock anymore. WWR. I hope they gap it up after the halt. I really hope they do. They gap it up and then fail it. Yeah. Hey, look. I want 500 followers in here. I need to lose a couple of million on a trade. It's the only way to get uh, followers. <laughs> That's the best way to get followers. Uh, PLL, no, I had it on my watch lists. This is the hottest sector. They had an agreement with Tesla. I was watching it, opening range highs yesterday. I even I watched it yesterday out of the gate. Uh, then I put an alert on it. Then it kind of started fading and uh, I had an alert on it. And I bought it midday when it broke out. Not a big, you know, not a big position, but, you know. You gotta watch this. It had a nice little break, it built higher lows. There might be cheaper ways to get followers. I don't know how. How do you get followers for the sheep? <laughs> the only way I've gotten followers is when I lost a lot of money and posted it on Twitter. Like every follower in the in the in, the, in on my Twitch stream right now cost me like uh, I don't know 10k. <laughs> worst deal ever. I'm I'm the worst businessman ever. Like literally ever. You'd been here for 7k? <laughs> hey, Saibu, can I can I uh, quote you on twi on Twitter? I need to do some marketing. Hey, Saibu, can I quote you on Twitter? No, I don't want your. I just asked if you, if I can quote what I said, what you said on Twitter. I, I don't need your PNL. I need to do some marketing, okay? I'm, I'm really bad at it. Not that I really need to do any marketing. I don't really, you know, care. But 
the dicks trade. <laughs> oh man, what the hell happened? Oh yeah, there it is. Um, how do you use Twitter? Okay, that's how you use Twitter. IQ, I don't really see it. Uh, it's not really, it's a slower type of a name and it's not a momentum leader. If you are below the pattern day trader rule, uh, well, you can always get an offshore broker. Like, like uh, what, what are they called? Like Trade Zero and those types of names, right? That's what I did. I had like an offshore broker to get, uh, uh, you know, around the... Uh, stupid PDT rule. It really is stupid. That's, you know, that's, I think, the best way. Until you get up to, like, 50k or so. You know, build your account up 40, 50k. And then you can get, uh, switch to a not offshore broker. I'm looking for a um, entry in WWR. I really want this thing to reclaim VWAP and go up to 13 plus. Damn, there's a lot of breakouts today. Mm. Oh shit, I missed my entry. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to get a starter in WWR again, but I. Oh. I don't, I didn't get filled. Oh, now I got filled, okay. This lazy has a good setup. I like it. These cruise lines and airlines are trying to perk off the lows. Okay, lo looks like it. This thing wants to reclaim VWAP. This WWR. Man, I guess we missed this Roku, right? Damn. That was a perfect breakout. Oh well. This is what I'm, you know, like I missed so many good uh, entries over the past couple of weeks and still I have a very solid portfolio, you know. So you really, you know, if you miss something, you really don't need to beat yourself up over it. There's so much opportunity. Every time you get a bull run in the markets, there's just so many opportunities. This is why I don't believe in the cult that, that thinks you need to be a full margin in a few stocks to make a lot of money. I, I, I really don't like there's so many stocks that run every time the markets go on a bull run If you're gonna use margin you can spread it out over many many stocks, you know 10 15 stocks There's no reason to be on margin in just you know a few stocks. I, I really When was the Roku entry when it broke out? Obviously, you know, I missed it <laughs>
B, yeah, but I don't see a setup there. It's been a shoppy one lately. That's the problem. A very shoppy one. We had an entry on this thing here, and we had an entry here. Those are the ones we traded since then. I really want this thing to tighten up. Alright, looks like this WWR is gonna... wants to reclaim VWAP. Right now it's just hovering below this VWAP here. But if it fails at VWAP, if it like tries to reclaim and fails and starts to lose 12 bucks, I'll add up, I'll add full size or almost full size. Now it looks like it's failing again. We'll see. Eat, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks decent. Sh Shake Shack too. Nah, no, eat is better. WWR, yeah, the locator, uh, locate tool uh, uh, in center point is really good. Uh, I paid seven, uh, let's see, 0 0.075. That's what, 75 cents per share, right? No, 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 it's seven and a half cents per share. Maxer, if I would have entered it, nah, it's not a great setup. It's not, oh, SC is trying to break. I don't have any buying power <laughs> to buy more. I don't have much more overnight buying power. I don't think I'm going to do any more entries on the long side. Okay, I added more to my WWR. I'm back to 100,000 shares again. Man, I have no balls trading these momentum stocks anymore. I used to be so good at trading this. I totally lost my uh, conviction. <laughs> I used to be like I I I am unable to do any size. Like I I I should have you know I should have had like three four hundred thousand shares of this thing. No, my performance hasn't uh, inc increased, my, uh, but um, it's just I'm lazy, you know, I'm lazy. Like, I, I would have probably had better performance if I had focused more on these momentum stocks. There's been so many opportunities this year and these micro small cap momentum stocks that I just passed on. I would probably bought much more, but I, I just, you know... I don't want any headaches. These these things are so stressful. You have to watch every tick, and you know, I don't wa like watching every tick. You know, so that's the thing. Like right now, WWR, it's taking up ninety percent of my energy. Why is this thing up? This PPSI. I didn't find any news on it.
this pen, if this thing can hold the 20 day today and close kind of strong, it, it, this will be a setup for tomorrow. Caesar, yeah, Caesar looks good too. Man, this, it, there's so many stocks, like, oh, Beyond Meat, nice. I just sold a piece of Beyond Meat, apparently. Look at this thing, everything is straight up. Holy shit, what on, I mean, and this is the best type of market, when the indices are not even up, like Nasdaq is down for the day. And most of my stocks are up. That's, that's how you know you're holding the leaders, okay? When your portfolio looks like this, on a on a on a on a down day, right? That's how you know you are in the leading stocks. That's why you trade the leading stocks. Everything else is a waste of time. Don't even look at something that doesn't have momentum. If you hate money, you trade. Uh, you are welcome to trade and not the leading stocks. NIO, NIO is setting up for a move higher. NIO looks great. This thing looks like it wants to go to 25 anytime. It's building higher lows in the 60 minute chart. It's digesting really, really well. It just needs the, the 10 and 20 day just need to catch up a little bit. Yeah, SDNE looks decent. It's a slower type of stock, but it looks good. It's been building relentlessly higher lows for the past two, three months. It looks pretty decent. NCLH, and yeah, these cruise lines are strong. AYX has a new CEO and they guide it higher. Sympathy play to SBI. Yeah, but this SBI move was like two weeks ago. Why is PPSI going up today? They must have had some type of news. Apps. Um, yeah. And you know, those of you bought it on the breakout day here, you know, you, you should have sold a third to half somewhere, you know, somewhere here. And now we just wait for the first close below the 10 day right i know yeah well i don't see anything here well it is yeah okay so it's bouncing off the 200 day i can see it now it built higher lows the setup looks very similar to the setup here yeah you know it's a, it's a, not really what I look for, but this is, these types of setups can work, absolutely. It's a hot sector, like BNTX has made a big move, mm, MRNA has, you know, is strong, you know, the sector is very strong. Okay, WWR looks like it's building some lower highs now. CRM, CRM, you shouldn't trade it, it's too slow. It had a breakout like last week here. Uh, today there's nothing there. Uh, what about alt? It's in a hot sector, but you know. Wait, trap. Oh, yeah. I think this WWR, if it keeps build, you know, you know, we'll see, obviously. But I, I think this thing could fade back to like sub nine by, by the next few days. We'll see. Wow, PLL, what a move. And this is why you stick to the high ADR stocks. Like those of you who have small accounts, like you have such a big edge over someone like me. You can trade these types of, like I can't put a lot of big part of my account in something like this, but you with smaller accounts, you know, I, you know, I this was like less than a 10% of my overall equity disposition yesterday. But those of you with smaller accounts, you can easily put 20, 25% of your accounts in something like this. This is why you focus on high ADR stocks. You don't, you know, something like CRM, you shouldn't even, this thing shouldn't even be in your scans. ADR of three, what a waste of time. This is the type of stocks you want to be in. 
ADR of 16.7. And look at this thing. From the opening range highs yesterday, this thing is up 58%, almost 60%. That's why you focus on high ADR stocks. If you hate money, you trade low ADR stocks. And if you hate money, you trade non-momentum stocks. And I know a lot of you in here hate money, considering the, you know, stock suggestions I get. Where is buying point? You mean where was the buying point? Yesterday opening range highs. Yeah, I'll do a short uh, swing training school. I've been kind of lazy lately. If you hate money, you trade micro caps? No. Micro caps are great. Um, you know, there are a couple of periods per year, usually most years, where micro caps are super hot. Right now, we are in a, such a period again. If you have a small account, you can double, triple your money very quickly, very quickly, if you know how to trade. You know, micro caps are great. I, I almost exclusively traded micro caps in the beginning. Guys, 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 now I'm starting to get questions again. Guys, just follow the instructions on the screen. Just ex type exclamation mark YouTube. Like if you're new, type, type exclamation mark YouTube and watch that video. You know, most of your questions will be answered. Yeah, if you ever get in the newspaper, hey, Lodbrok Trader. It depends on how you get into the news. If you go on a killing spree, don't tell anyone you learned trading from, from me. But if you like do something heroic, like uh, save a kitten from a burning house, you can tell everyone you learned from me on Twitch. So it depends on how you get into the news. <laughs> It dip, it dip. Oh shit, WWR, I need to cover some more. Oh, mm -hmm. SC, 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 nice, nice, nice breakout. And, and you know, SC, the, this this move was announced. Look at how brutally this thing is building higher lows. And look at how nicely, when it initially broke out here, when I bought it, it kind of pulled back, found support on the rising 10 day, and look at how nicely it built higher lows here. Look at how nicely, right? It was just screaming in your face that it wanted to have another leg higher. You know, th this is what you want to see after a you have to buy a stock even if it pulls back you want to see it build higher lows look at something like d dog okay it broke out here where where did, where did i buy it i bought it on this day here you know it broke out had it, the, here is where it had this microsoft news and then it pulled back and look at how nice it's been building higher lows okay twitter this thing broke out oh sorry broke out pulled back and then it started building higher lows right NIO is kind of building higher lows for now. That's what you want to see. Don't be scared of a pullback after your entry, right? You want to see how the stock acts after the pullback. A CLSK, uh, yeah, yes, uh, I mean, I guess it looks decent. 
it looks kind of decent. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it looks pretty decent. It's high ADR. It's a nice momentum. You know, yeah, it's it's a good setup. I would say it's a pretty decent setup. Four star, three and a half four star. It's definitely the right type of stock. This is exactly the type of stock you should be trading. A, a, a high ADR, a fairly liquid stock. You know, that's nice. How much IQ do you need to be a successful trader? Assuming you don't have emotional problems. My IQ is... Uh, well, I hope it's in the triple digits. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I really don't think uh, trading uh, success has any correlation with IQ. As long as you are like uh, around the average uh, you you'll do fine like i as long as you're not outright dumb you you know if, you you should be fine just don't be don't be stupid smart like there's a lot of people who are stupid smart they're so fucking smart that they're kind of dumb they do these stupid things because they they kind of think they're the shit and they think they can't lose. You see it all the time, these super smart people like hedge fund managers and also individual investors, like, you know, the smartest or the smart. And they, you know, some of them blow up, right? <laughs> because they, they think they can't lose. They don't respect the markets. Trading success is, you know... It's more about having a having an edge and a solid risk management than anything else. Having good setups um, in combination with good money management and also you know knowledge. You know you need to study. Study the market moves historically. Know that what's possible. You need to be prepared for... for anything. You uh, like I said, like I've said before, you, you don't you don't have to be a uh, rocket scientist to succeed in the markets, but you can't be a retard. And by retard, uh, I mean by having a, either very low IQ or having a very high IQ. As long as you're around average, you'll do fine. Exactly, never go full retard. A lot of people with low IQ, they go full retard. And a lot of people with high IQ go full retard. Never go full retard. Never. How would I know that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the question. You should maybe do an IQ test. Test your IQ. I don't know. Lore, nice breakout. And here was the initial breakout on this AVLR, right? Look at how nicely it found support on the rising 100 day and started building up uh, higher lows. And then it had a breakout out of this range. You, know, you need to learn these setups, right? 
I see, you know, a lot of people, you know, posting stocks that are up like three days in a row and, you know, or, or you know, they're just, you know, in, in the middle of nowhere. This is, this is where you have an edge, right? When, when, uh, now this bounce of the 100 day, I, I, like if you, those of you who have watched my YouTube guides, uh, know that you should buy off the 10, 20 or the 50 day, but, you know, the same principle applies. You know, this could have as well been the 50 day. Man, there's so much text in the chat today. Oh, man. Could Caesar or Penn break out today? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. I have no idea. Anything can happen. Rule number one, anything can happen in the markets. MCRB. My cat's IQ, uh, not very high. Uh, GME, um, yeah, it's setting up, maybe in a couple of days. NVAX, yeah, it's surfing the 100-day. Uh, yeah, it kind of, yeah, it's kind of trying to break out of this range. Yeah, oh wow, it looks great on the weekly chart. Yeah, SRNE, definitely. Uh, where you can scan a site? Well, you can use the TC2000 if you pay for it. I really don't know anything else. What risk when swing trading? At least 1 to 10. Yeah, NCLH is, you know, yeah, it's a, it's a different, it's, it's kind of, you know, breaking out of a, uh, a bottom, bottom base. You know, these setups can work, but right now I'm just, you know, seeing a lot of breakouts in high momentum stocks. So, you know, I wouldn't, you know, that's why I'm kind of passing on something like this right now. But absolutely, these types of setups can work, and they have worked really nicely this year, several times. Like, I owned NCLH several times. I think I owned it here, and I think I also owned it here. So yeah, I mean, this thing could go to 25 in a flash. How do you post a picture in the chat? Uh, I, I think I don't think you can. I don't think you can post pictures in the chat. Uh, can I do a swing trading school f with focus on micro caps? I don't need to. It's the same exact setups as in uh, like mid and large cap uh, stocks. Uh, the only difference is they kind of faster. So instead of using the say, you know, they you cannot use the 10, 20, 10 day uh, much more. The 10 day moving average. Uh, Palantir, uh, I don't see anything here. Uh, three Lynch. I don't know what the three Lynch setup is. Do you do I recycle shares when trading small cap stocks? I, I don't know how you recycle shares. I recycling sounds environmentally friendly, but I I really don't know. Uh, what it means. Exactly, yeah. Like Saibu says, 
Yeah, these type of patterns are the most profitable. High tight flag. Yep. Uh, I think you need to pay for TC2000 if, uh, to use the scans. Do you have an ADR for Think or Swim? Could you post the ADR scan for Think or Swim in the chat? Or, or tweet it to me, if you can take a screenshot and tweet it to me, or post it in the chat, at Trader Dog. Yeah, but the Trader Dog says it's not the ideal. I don't know. <laughs> David, you don't know how to use Twitter? That's for the best. Twitter is the <laughs> most toxic place ever. If you want to feel the urge to end your life, you should go to Twitter and, and be on Twitter for a while. That's all I can say. No, it's true. It's true. I usually watch my positions for about 30, 40 minutes after it close. If, you know, usually uh, after that, there's usually not much news flow. Dantes is on this flux. Too bad it's such a thin stock. I can't trade this thing. But yeah, this this is the type of stock could be like 50 bucks in you know by next month. Uh, well, it's a slower type of stock, but yeah, it is setting up. That it is doing. Can they say WWR get sub 10? That would be nice. Livongo is setting also up for a potential ad spot like SC today. But I'm probably not going to add to it like I did to SC since I kind of heavily invested already. I also size down NVIDIA a little bit here, locking into, into strength. Yeah. <laughs> 
dude, the Tsar, I mean, <laughs> just stop with the all... all <laughs> Come on, guys, you, you need to watch the YouTube video, please, please. It's just simple instructions. Just follow the instructions on the screen. I, I outline very simple cell rules, okay? You don't need an algo. You don't need any of that. You just need to, you know. There's nothing wrong with algorithmic trading, but, you know, don't ask me about it. You know, if you're going to do your own thing, do your own thing, right? But if you're going to trade my setups, you know, you should also follow my, you know, sell rules until, you know, unless you've done a study that where you found that my sell rules are crap. JD stopped you out yesterday? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, happens. Happen Wait, what did it? 7564. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you know, it happens. It happens, you know. It's gonna happen uh, thousands of times in a trading career. Sucks, but, you know. Drop. No, stick to the 10-day moving average. Stick to the 10-day. There's no reason to change the sell rules. This is, you know, no, yeah, stick to the 10-day. Trail it with a 10-day. Uh, Tesla is showing um, a relative weakness for the past few days. Yeah, it, it, it has. It could be a short setup. Uh, not today, but maybe, you know, starting tomorrow or something. Could be. Or it's just, you know, digesting, a, you know, a big move. It's just in a range. But I would, you know, yeah, could, there could be a short setup there soon. Wait, wait, wait. Since you started following me, you have gotten triple digit returns, more success in life and more fit. Okay. I don't know if your more success in life and more fit has anything to do with me, but hey, I'll take the credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of, yeah, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, math, math people and uh, uh, like uh, programming people, they think, you know, they're so obsessed with their stupid algos. Um, but you know, if you don't have an edge, it doesn't matter if you trade with algos or if you do it manually, you just don't have an edge. <laughs> that's what people miss. They think just because their code is beautiful, they're going to outperform the markets, but that's just not how it works. That's just not how it works. You know, if trading were easy, if the markets were easy, every every uh, uh, like economist would be rich. A every every coder who invested in the markets would be rich, but they're not. Most of them are not because you know they don't have the ability to beat the markets. We are here to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to beat the markets. Okay? We are not here to have some shitty returns. 
if you want shitty returns, go do your you know own thing, right? Go in invest in index funds. Not not that there is anything wrong with it. I think index funds are great over the long term. But you know we are here to do one thing, and that is beat the markets. If trading was easy, David would be rich. But isn't David rich? David is rich. Yeah, no imagination, no edge. That's true. You can do... All you can do is 5%. But if the markets are up 30%, does he still all you can think all you can do is 5%? <laughs> Since I have been on this Twitch, I would have been a lot better. You have become a lot better at Pornhub. <laughs> Oh man, I don't want to know, okay? I don't want to know anything more. I don't want to know anymore. No, the solars were look, yeah, the solars had entries opening range lows today. That was the entry, you know. Opening range lows. It's the same thing, you know. Opening range highs when long. Opening range long uh, lows or lower highs, you know. VWAP fail when short. You know, this JKS had a perfect setup today. Where's the opening range shows on the one minute chart? Uh, damn, there's so many things there. So it was somewhere here, 40, high 46s was the opening range lows on the one minute short. And then it kind of failed at VWAP twice. It failed here and then failed here. So there were, you know, additional uh, entry points. When do you, co when do you cover, uh, you know, on the way down? My boat look beautiful. Yeah, it looks really beautiful. It does. And it's also pretty fast. For being that size. Looks like WWR got uh, built another lower high. I think next leg down is going to go to low nines. <laughs> oh man. A short term tax? There is no short term taxes in Sweden. There's only taxes. Damn, these renewable stocks are going going crazy one by but one by one. Now we're getting uh, to the face of the markets where you feel like you're missing out. You know, when, where there's so many things going up daily. I'm making big moves. And unfortunately, this is the type, you know, this is where people start, you know, buying in. Instead of low risk entries, they start chasing stuff. Even Nikola is setting up. Um, 
Uh, well, I don't know about that. It's just, you know, a beaten down stock. Maybe it can go back to 30. I, d I don't know. It could. Not my type of setup, though. Yeah, no, you know, 300% margin. Uh, never use that much margin, even if you can. Like, I had a discussion with someone on Twitch. He ran up, as, uh, like, uh, one of my followers, he, he ran up his account in crypto from, like, uh, from, like, a few thousand to, like, 100,000. And then he lost it all. And he asked me what, like... I don't know exactly what uh, how the convo was, but he, pretty much he he asked like how it could happen. Then I asked him like, well, how much margin did he use? And he used like I I, I it w uh, wait I'll try to find the discussion. Uh, anyways, I almost threw up when when he told me how much margin he used. He used like 10 times or something. He pretty much used how much margin he should be using. Where is the guy? Well, anyways, I can't find the discussion now. Anywho, the, the point is, like, the guy was using enormous amounts of margin. Like, that's why he only he ran, you know, he lost all of his gains. I really think, if you haven't run up your account a lot, if you're not up a lot on the year, you shouldn't be using margin. Margin is deserved. Margin is not something you're entitled to. Margin is something you deserve. Okay? A lot of people think just because it's there, they're entitled to use it. To use it. No. You have to deserve it. Otherwise, you're just going to end up like another statistic. You got, you're going to end up in the... 99% are gonna fail. That's 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 how it works, unfortunately. Hey, guys, th did you see what David wrote? Did David just get hacked? Hey, David, did you get hacked? You just said something uh, nice to me. That's the second nice thing he says to me today. Yeah, he's getting soft. Hey, David, what's wrong with you? Man up. Come on, David, man the fuck up. <laughs> You've been nice to me twice. He could say anything he wanted today. Yeah, that's true. I promised uh, not to ban or mute him today. Because trying to get a boat ride. Hey, David, you're welcome anytime. Anytime you're in Sweden. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's something I got from uh, Soros, I think. Like you, you kind of work yourself up to do, you know, work yourself up a little bit so you're up. And when you're up, that's when you can start taking more risks. Not before that. That's how people blow up because they kind of get bigger and bigger the worse the results are. But that's how you blow up. You should get bigger the better your results are. And then, you know, this decrease your trading activity and size when you're in a, in a uh, you know, having a tough, when you're in a rough period. That way you will never, you know, blow up if you, you know, just decrease your size as your accounts shrink. Obviously, it's easier said than done, but that's how you have to do it. You can't go, you know, 
Take a big bet if you're in a drawdown. You just can't do it. It's just irresponsible. In my opinion. Well, JD, I don't see anything. He had a good setup here, but it, that that one kind of failed. And and you know, you, you guys, you shouldn't really trade this stock. It's it's ADR three point one. You know, it's you know, don't trade this thing. There's so many faster moving stocks. And also, we already had two weeks of nice breakouts. I don't think right now is a good time to be buying breakouts. Oh, WWR. I'm uh, now I'm I'm green on it now. I went from down 96k to up 50k on it now. Let's go. BE, yeah, yeah, it's a strong sector. Do you? Um, mm, I don't see anything here. It is kind of building higher lows above the rising 100 day. But for now, I don't see anything. Oh, it, okay, yeah, on the weekly, it looks better. Yeah, maybe in a few days, if it tightens up here. Huya also, it's building higher lows. They're both, they trade very similar. Well, actually, it's because they are going to get the combined by uh, Tencent. But this Huya, I like better. Maybe in a few days, it's going to, could have a setup. Like, uh, guys, like a lot of things I try to teach here, like a lot of these things I I picked up from other like you know these uh, big traders you know guys like Dan Sanger uh, guys like Soros uh, Drucken Miller Paul Tudor Jones like if you read the um, Market Wizards book books a lot of those guys are in there Steve Cohen like you, you gotta pay attention like these guys are many of them they're worth hundreds of millions. And in some cases, even many billions, you know, pay attention what they what they say, right? There's a lot of, you know, wisdom in there. There's just so much wisdom in there. You got to pick. Yeah. yeah. It's just, you know, the Market Wizards books are really, really great. I, I think there's four of them, and there's a fifth coming next month. You know, I think it's required reading. Five years? Well, to get into the 100 million bracket, I would need to double my money every year for five years. No, uh, I would have to increase my money my accounts by say 50% uh, per year after tax and after uh, living expenses for the next five years and I'll be at the 100 million bracket. I'll actually do some math. That's kind of funny. It's always fun doing math. So let's see. Okay, let's see, what did I do wrong? Oh, okay. Yeah, so to get to 100 million, I would have to increase my accounts by 40% per year uh, over the next five years after, after tax, you know, net, net change. I think it's doable if the markets, you know, are free. If the markets are reasonably okay. Mm -hmm. AMD. Yeah, markets, you know. What's wrong with the markets? Nothing wrong with them. But chill out, guys. It's not, you know. We barely read on the day, which is break even on the day. 
Well, markets don't go straight up. Let it work out. You don't, you know, you don't even need to know what happened, right? Focus on the setups. Focus on your stocks, okay? That's you, what you should be all focusing on, not the spies. You're in zero stocks? Well... I guess you're a day trader then. Do I have to pay taxes every year? Yes. Yeah, but someone said uh, I could, uh, you know, I, I, he would reckon I would be in the 100 million bracket by in the next five years. So I did the math what my returns would have to be. But the thing is, my returns are going to go, go down over time. It's kind of harder to beat the market. Like as your account size grows, you know, your opportunity set shrinks, okay? So it kind of gets harder and harder. And also, I'm, get, I'm getting lazier, right? I, I don't have the same drive I used to have. I'm going to, you know, I pass on a lot of stuff that would be profitable. Like, and, you know, something like... Uh, WWR, you know, I should have done you know three times as much size on it, but I didn't. I just didn't want any headaches, so I'm getting kind of lazier and um, I just don't want any headaches. That's the main thing. Holy shit, PPSI! I guess opening range highs was to play. Wow, what a movie! I mean, what's the news on it? Is there really no news on it? Jesus Christ. Yeah, the more you say no. One thing I really don't want is like headaches and, you know, like big drawdowns. That's what I, you know, I just try to avoid drawdowns like as much as possible. No, I only pay taxes in Sweden. I don't pay uh, taxes in the US. Yeah, I know, right? Every when the market went down for a few weeks, I I was down to like low mid 200 viewers and now that the market has been up for a couple of weeks, now we're, I'm back to 300 viewers. It's kind of funny how it works. <sighs> Tax free. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been thinking about doing some, uh, you know, company in another country to, you know, lower my taxes. I'm going to I'm going to learn from Trump. He's the best in avoiding taxes. Or a tax optimization, let's call it that. I like tax op optimization. Talk to an at accountant, yeah, I should. An apartment in Monaco? Yeah, but the thing in... Yeah, 
yeah, well, I'll have to see. Can we get to nine bucks already on WWR? Man, what a shitty trade from me, my part. I should have really done more size. I guess I should have added. Oh, okay, whatever. I I really kind of messed it up size-wise, entry-wise, and uh, you know my covers were great. It's just the size that was. I should have done like twice the size on the second entries. So Tesla is trying to build higher lows here. I, I think it kind of needs to, you know, hold these higher lows. Otherwise, it's going to be a short setup in the next few days. I don't like the fact it's showing relative weakness. I really don't like that fact. I'm covering some more WWR here. Kodak, yeah, Kodak is actually kind of decent looking setup. I like it. This is, uh, you know, you can't really see it here, but let's look at the logarithmic chart. It looks good. It looks really, really good. This thing, this is a five star setup. I, I love it. It's a big, big momentum stock, right? And now it's just surfing the 20 day and have it as a tight range here. This is a really good setup. And someone asked me I should do a swing trading school on micro caps. I mean, it's the same exact setups as any market caps, okay? The same setups. Same setups. There's no need for a extra swing trading school for micro caps. <clears throat> Nomad capitalist, who's that? Oh, I'll check that out. Hey, thanks for the suggestion, Reiner. No, I don't think so. Look, I would need like a hundred or thousand uh, viewers on my stream daily to make any like uh, meaningful money off of it. Like I could be a Twitch partner right now, but I just haven't activated it. I couldn't care less. Like what, a hundred bucks more per month? Like <laughs> whatever. 
I really would need like a couple of hundred thousand viewers. I couldn't care less. Where the hell is my f Oh, my cat is sleeping on my phone. What the fuck? Why does Stan Sanger charge money for his training courses classes? I don't know. PPSI? What the fuck? Holy... And this thing hasn't even been halted. That's the most amazing thing. I don't think it's been halted once. Wow. What the hell, man? There could be a nice intraday short on it. Like, I, I'm not gonna do it, or maybe I am. Oh, shit. Oh, there's gonna be a nice short on it. Oh. Lazy. Like the first red one minute candle, or the first red five minute candle. There could be an entry there. You know what? No, nah, I'm not. I can't get any shares. Ah, oh, okay, whatever. I couldn't find a locate. Remember Kodak? Yeah, I remember Kodak. Dao? Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, it, it, it's an alternative setup. It kind of finds support, found support in a rising 200 day, and now it's breaking a uh, range. Uh, yeah, you know, it could work. It could work with some patience. Yeah, it's a nice. Um, you know, they have nice uh, earnings growth and stuff like that. Yeah, it could work nice. Pen, pen could also be a good short setup for tomorrow if it uh, if it's not showing relative weakness. Like obviously today it's showing some relative weakness, but uh, unless it fails the 20 day and you know uh, it's still a valid long setup. But if it fails the 20 day tomorrow in combination with relative weakness, it could be a nice short also. Zoom is kind of showing relative weakness. Uh, Tesla. Hmm. We'll see. What's loud? You have borrowed some PPSI? Where? How? Oh, you got them pre-market? Oh, okay. Well, good.
Good thing you haven't used them yet. <laughs> nah, I, I, the thing is, like, I think the, there could be a short setup on the first red minute, uh, red five, uh, one minute candle, and or the first red five minute candle. Um, but um, I generally, I just don't short day one. I, I never do. I'm gonna pray for this thing to close strong today and then have a you know strength tomorrow also. OTRK, uh, OTRK had a. S uh, how is OTRK after that breakout on Friday? Uh, well, OTRK, you know, it's acting well after the breakout on Friday. It just looks just fine. I don't know if you're married, but if you're not, do you ever get tempted to live a complete life of debaucher debauchery and pleasure with all the money you made? <laughs> oh man, I have a girlfriend. Is this stream full of children? I don't know. <laughs> Are there any children in the chat? Raise your hands. Yes. <laughs> You're five years old? Nice. <laughs> You're 32. <laughs> There's a girl named Candice here. Is she <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that information, David, but thanks. Trill? Uh, I don't really see a setup here uh, yet. Um, I don't know. It needs to tighten up. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, this Livongo is tightening up nicely. It's been building higher lows. It could have another, like a follow, like on the weekly chart, it's, um, it looks great. It's kind of high tight flagging. Ish. I, I think it looks good. There could be an ad spot in the next couple of days if it breaks out. Wow, Beyond Meat. I guess I have to put another sell order up here somewhere. Maybe 189 or something. These are setting up really nicely. I like this one. And pen too. If it can close above, say, 70 or so, 70, 50, could be a really good setup for tomorrow. Damn, B and TX from this little breakout here. Nice move.
C reg. Uh, yeah. Yep, it is. Yeah, PPSI, that's it, you know, after this big parabolic run, the first red f uh, one minute candle. That's what you wait for. Hey, uh, Todd again. Can I quote you on Twitter? I hope this WWR has a big run back to like 12 bucks. Or, or back to like VVAP. I would love to add more shares on it. I've covered about a quarter so far. Yeah, Trill, I'd like to see tighten up a little bit more. Oh man, things are really slowing down now. It's like watching paint dry. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I've sized down Silo a little bit. It's been on a big run since my ad ad spot. It's up like twenty five percent almost. I've sized down a little bit. <clears throat> I'll sell like twenty percent of my position. I feel like I haven't sold enough into strength, that's why. But I'm I'm trailing the rest with like the twenty day. Or maybe even probably the ten day. We'll see. RXT. Yeah, recent IPO been building higher lows. I don't know if it's uh I mean it's it's a decent setup I guess. It's a decent setup. PPSI, um, I wouldn't short here. I think the entry was in the f uh, one on the one minute candle. Finra ADFD broker to broker cross. I have no idea. You should ask your broker. I don't know. Yeah, I hate when it happens, when your stop losses don't trigger for some reason. It's the worst thing ever. Totally unacceptable, but you know, it happens sometimes.
And that's also the problem with these types of uh, like momentum stocks. Now I will have to sit and watch it, or you know, not constantly, but I have to watch it like every 10 minutes or something. Like I can't go away for an hour, probably, like I usually do. Man, I'm been I'm I'm so lazy. I can't even sit six hours in front of the computer anymore. What a loser! I become a loser. I have no work ethic. I've lost all my work ethic. TRVN. Um, it had a decent setup yesterday. You know, like micro caps usually have like shorter bases, shorter flags. Yeah, it had a decent like uh, high tight flag yesterday. Absolutely. Am I going to buy Caesar? Maybe. RKT. Uh, it needs to go sideways a bit more. Yeah, I know. Stops failing when you're not around. That's the worst thing. Yep. I hate that. Alright. WWR is bouncing. I really hope it retests VWAP. I would like to add a little bit on it if it fails on VWAP and only if it fails. You, you're gonna vacuum the house? Hey, David, why don't you have a cleaning lady? David, where's your cleaning lady? Like, my cleaning lady was here. Like, uh, she left like 10 minutes ago. Where's your cleaning lady? David, you shouldn't be doing that thing. Those things. Yourself. Like, who the hell vacuums instead of trading? They were always coming on to me. Who chooses vacuum cleaning over trading? They had gold teeth. <laughs> oh. All right, good luck vacuuming, David. Yeah, I think David uh, this is doing the right thing by going doing something else. There's 
I don't think there's much more money left to squeeze out of the markets right now. There's been some a lot of great, great setups over the past couple of weeks, the past two, three weeks. Uh, like really, really good setups. And now, you know, it's all about waiting for them to, you know, now it's just trimming and trailing now. That's it. It's all about trimming and trailing. Now the airlines are kind of failing again. Cruise lines still look good, but the airlines are... Some of them try to kind of break out from the lows, but... Looks like they're not really succeeding here. Uh, CVAC, uh, yeah, that's the thing, there's no setup here. But it is a COVID-19 stock. There was a potential setup on it yesterday, though. Oh, PPSI, is uh, Warrior Trading trading it? Is it long or short? Tupperware, yeah, I don't see a setup here. Maybe in a you know few days if it tightens up here, this kind of building higher low, so that's good. Maybe in a few days. <clears throat> he doesn't short. Okay, I thought he did, but he is long only. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna cut the stream here. Um, again, VVR. I'm you know trimming and trailing just like I do on on my longs. I really want to get a retest of the uh, VVAP and uh, you know for a potential ad ad spot. I would like to double my. I, I have 75k shares now. I would love to add another 50 or maybe even 100,000 shares to this thing potentially. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. So that's pretty much the only trade I'm looking. Whoa, what's going on with these uh, casino names, betting names? Caesar and Pen. Hmm. Pen doesn't look that great, right? It's right on the 20 day. It's very crucial. This thing holds the 20 day for the setup to be valid. Well, I guess a lot of things are going down, so we'll see. Had BA news? Oh, what did BA say? They will get be hurt for 10 years? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, not the best uh, business to be in right now. Yeah, people don't fly. But I, I think you know. I, I, I think. Uh, I think uh, you know, flying will come back. I think in ten years we're gonna be at all-time highs in flying. Yes, yeah, so, you know when we get the vaccine and you know p everything will get back to normal. There's just so many. Like the global middle class is growing. Pretty fast. And you know more and more people can afford to fly. Like only ten percent of the Chinese have been uh, outside of China. I think flying will be at all time highs. Ten years tops.
you saw them all in Munich. Hey, dude, wait, wait until uh, like think about it. Think about all the Chinese tourists you see everywhere, and then think about the fact that only ten percent of them have been, uh, or or of the Chinese have been uh, outside of China. Now, now, imagine what will what will happen, like if the their economy grows and their middle class grows. Imagine in 10 years when 20% of the Chinese will, will have uh, been outside of China. <laughs> INSP. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks, it's a decent setup. It's a bit choppy, um, but um, yeah, it looks good. It's not the fastest mover. Not not the ideal type of stock, but you know, it could work. Oh yeah, I was gonna cut the stream. Okay, thanks for joining guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck today. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too, then I kind of forgot about it. Alright. Alright guys, see ya.